Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more. 999. In the previous video, we went through the steam engine room and dear God almighty, that room pissed me off. It's bullshit. And then we're in the storage room, man. Gotta find some cards. Something said crate. Well, grab the thing. Card with headshot. This one's got me on it. Card with headshot. This must be... Oh no! Don't look at it! I'm not cute at all and I'm not photogenic and I don't look sexy either. Next to Clover, my skin looks gross. And I'm not sexy like Lotus. I don't guess for go for women who look like Lotus. But, 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 I'm trying to. I'm doing the best I can. So please don't call me bored or trash can or cutting board. Wait a minute. I haven't said anything like that, have I? Aww, poor. Poor June. That's something in this bag. This guy. This card has the ninth man on it. It's the first victim of the non re game. I actually can't think of it. He was actually pretty weird. I wonder what his deal was. Man, the guy on this card is one good looking son of a bitch. Way more class than that other chump. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Huh? What's your problem? Did you say I meant you, did I? Shit. What's in this box right here? Crits are quite large. They seem to be tied down. Tied down to another sturdy straps. Well, that's not what I want. I want to look in the box right there. There's Ace. It's Ace's card. Look like some kind of European lord. Oh, my headshot? You wanna see it? It's actually a pretty good picture. No, I don't need to see it. In fact, we really ought to get back to our search. Snake. Snake. Is that Snake's card? Yeah, you wanna see it? No, that's fine. Clover. This is Clover's card. Now looking at this photo, she's kind of cute, isn't she? Huh? What's up? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Why does her smile make me feel cold? I have one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just missing lotuses. These stairs go up three stories. What are you waiting for, Junpei? Whatever, I'm going. The only door here, except for the one we just came in, though. This must be the exit. No shit, Sherlock. Because it's locked. Is it an electronic lock? No, just a keyhole right on the doorknob. So we'll open the door, we gotta find the key that fits that keyhole. Yeah. Some kind of lever. That means those from one to nine. Only light with nine on is lit. And there are six holes here. They look like jacks for a headphone cable. Jacks, huh? Maybe we'll put something in them. Yeah, something might happen. This looks like it's cut. Bring something. This looks like some kind of little shutter. Maybe it'll open if we do something. Then it's going to come out of it. If it What's gonna come out of it if it does open? Yeah, like I'd know that. Oh, hold on. Something like that is cute. Um, hello. Something that looks like a coffin sitting on top of the pile of crates. Oh yeah, sure. Just brush it off. All right. Look at the obvious here. It's locked. We need the key. All the boxes have numbers on them. Do they? Oh! Ace went down picked up something that had been sitting next to the box. Jube, take a look at this. Cards? Oh, there she is. Oh, sweet. Stuff moved to the left. Card with the headshot. It's a bitch of lows on this card. And her hair is ridiculous. It's like clay or something. 
says the pot to the kettle. Alrighty, let's seven, so seven goes in there. Now we finally have all nine picture cards. We just need to insert these cards into the slots at the front of each box. Mm -hmm. You know which card goes in which box, yes? Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's really obvious. You just match our numbers to the numbers. Then you pop the corresponding card in the right box. So for instance, the card with the picture of Ace on it goes into box one. The card with the picture of Snake on it goes into box two, and so on. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, I see. Huh? What is it? I'll leave the rest to you. Hey, wait! What's wrong with him? Oh well, whatever. Hmm. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. Ace's card is in box one, Snake's is in number two. I just need to do the same for the rest. And finally, the ninth man's card into box nine. Yeah! Oh, they opened! What the? Nine pins? I guess I'll take them with me. Nine pins. These look like the kind of pins you use for sewing. There are nine of them in total, and they have numbers on them that run from one to nine. Alright. Well, we know the one thing that has that, so... Looks like the pins I just found will prove good for them. Once you found the nine boxes, right? Well, why don't you try it? Alright, let's see what happens. I think two, four, and six should go on the top part, and three, five, seven on the bottom part. Some of them lit up. Yeah, three and six. I wonder if there's some kind of rule that the, the results go on. I'm gonna put two, four, six pins on the top part, and three, five, seven on the bottom. Okay, so three, five, seven. Um, that's fifteen. That becomes six. So that's twelve. That becomes three. Hmm. I think. I think maybe it's the digital root. Digital root. Yep, it is the digital root. Why does that match the digital root of the pins inserted on the top little parts of the light up? So that's how it works. Well, there's one other thing that I like to check. Well, if he wants to try, he's actually welcome to. So you put the one, two, three pins on the top and the six, seven, eight pins on the bottom. Oh. Turn it off. It's 21. These are all 21 to 3. Therefore, light 3 turns off. 3 6. This is 6 is 6. Pro light 6 turns off. The pins you insert is the same as the number of lights that are lit. So lights turn off. I think that's the trick. Uh, it works. You want to give it a try? You, you want. You know what we're supposed to do with these lights? Well, no, but I figure we can try to see if we can turn them all on, you know? There's something's got to happen when we match that. How the lights, huh? Okay, Junpei, let's make sure we know how this works, alright? Pick one of the six holes, then pick one of the pins in your hand and insert it into the hole. Keep it up until all six holes are filled. Once all holes are filled, the lights with the numbers that correspond to the digital roots of the pins in the upper hand. The upper and lower parts will turn on. Whenever the digital root corresponds to a light that is already on, the light will be turned off. The goal is to turn all the lights on. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Well. Oh, I can't pick up. Okay, good. All right. Well, let's. Uh... All right. So the corresponding 
So, well, hold on, let's try this then. Oh, I'm supposed to put both of them in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, let's, it's nine, ten, so that's one. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that to get one. Okay, then two and three is five. Thirteen, that's four. Five plus nine is fourteen. Shit. Um, six plus six is twelve. So six and seven make thirteen. Thirteen plus three is sixteen, so that'll be seven. Okay. Now I just need to find the one that makes two. Um, six. Two. No, that'll make twelve. Well, that'll make three. Okay, I can do that. Um, well, it makes six. Seven so would be eight. Eight plus five is thirteen. That makes four. Will that will it work that way? Okay, it does. Okay. Um. Five. Well, one and nine is be five, or one nine and five is five. No, that makes six. Teen. Right. Make the two. It's twelve. Twelve plus two is fourteen, so then that'll be five. Alright, this is probably gonna be hard. So zero root that's two, so I need to make it be eleven. So six, four, and one, that's eleven. So I can make seventeen? Let's see, I ha I'll have to use nine. Nine plus no, that'll be I need six. So nine plus three is twelve, and that's seventeen. No, that makes seventeen. Is there any other way I can get the digital root of 2? No, 11 is the only way. It's the only way to make 11. Huh. <sighs> no, I probably can't have 2 and 8 being the only ones left then, so... Well, let me think here. How else can I get the digital root of 8 that doesn't involve a 1, 4, or 6? Okay, let me think. Um, so, well, oh, yeah, eight plus seven is fifteen. Plus two is seventeen. There we go. Figure it out. There we go. Figure it out. All the lights are on and the shutters opened up. Does that mean... Yeah, we gotta do it again. And I thought I was doing so well. Great. Okay, so we've got nine holes. And there's an F on top of them. Don't know what the F means, but I do know one thing. What's that? This time there's nine holes. So we need to insert nine pins. That's boring. Well, why don't we try, try it, alright? Ready? 
So... Yeah, 15 is the base 10 is is F is in hex, right? It's gotta be it. Okay, so I'm supposed to, am I supposed to make 15 in every row? Like 15 this way, 15 that way, 15 that way, 15 that way. Like Seduxo? Seduxo, whatever. Okay, so that means seven and I don't think I have to do diagonal. I think it's only down and left and right. So, 7 and 8 can never be on the same thing, so if I do 1 there, this is all, so 1 plus 6 is 7, so then the 8 can go there, okay, alright, so then what, uh, how else, 1, so then that has to be 9, and then that has to be a 5, so 6 plus 6, Seven. Six plus seven equals thirteen. So then two needs to go in there. So seven and two go here, and then three and four. Yeah, three and four will have to go there. Okay. So if I put the four here, that'd be nine. Uh, I need the six, so it couldn't work there. If I put three there, okay. So yeah, I need the seven. So then seven has to go there. No, no, no. That's seven. And that's gotta be four. <laughs> Nothing happened. What the fuck. I thought I did it. So one plus six is seven. That equals eight. Then I need the nine. Because then that's gotta be. Yeah, the four can't be there. And the seven can't be there, so. How did I do this again? Okay. So, with eight, can't be two, so two can't be here either. So only three and four can be here. But four can't go there because that'd be a nine. So then three has to go there, and that's seven. And then this seven plus six equals thirteen, so then that's the two. I don't get it. It can't the di it can't do it Oh shit, it has to do it diagonally too! Oh fuck. It does have to do it diagonally, okay. That only adds up to five. That adds up to. That adds up to fifteen. So I think these are in the right spots. No, that doesn't add to fifteen. What the fuck am I talking about? Oh right, yeah, it does. Because ten plus five is fifteen. Ten plus five is fifteen. So the five has to stay there. 
right. Or... Okay, five has to stay there. Um... Okay, all around the outside, like this and that, that equals 15. Just need to get the diagonal to be 15 then. So this is the right rows. Like it has to be, like one, nine, and five have to be up here. Six, two, and seven have to be there. Eight, four, three has to be there. I just need to figure out how to have a combo that will equal 15 going diagonally. Okay, um... Shit. Eleven. Five. That'd be fourteen. This is another tough one. I mean, I can't... It's not just as simple as, like, you know, switching these around, is it? Just get the same result, except they're different. Well, maybe, maybe like this row can't be this row. Like nine could be there. Well, let's see if that works. So, nine plus eight equals six. No, 9 plus 8 is 17, so that can't work. But then again, if we flip them up, like if maybe maybe the row's this way. Like they don't have like this row could be here. And then like that row could be down there. Oh, shit, man. Okay, hold on. Let me I need to write some stuff down. So so 7, 2, 6. Five, nine, one, three, four, eight. So those, those are the groups right there. That is our group. Okay. So let's try it this way. Let's have six up here. Actually, let's have, let's have the seven there. Okay. Well, let's think of, let's think of what numbers, what number needs to be in the middle. Okay, say I put 9 there, so that's the 591. Okay. Or it could be 5. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's just put 9 there for now. Then what numbers that have to be here and here? Well, the numbers can, that can only be here and here is like this is. Put that one number down there. Fuck, oh, there's so many combos. So. Ah, okay, I just need to figure out. So if I put nine here, okay, let's hypothetically let's just put nine there for now. And or without using five and one, because five and one have to be on the same row, e e e either this way or this way. What numbers would add to fifteen? You take the two. So nine plus two is eleven. Then you take. Four. That could work. Okay. So then, okay, let's just do this. Let's put the two there, the four there. That equals 15. Okay. So then either three or eight. It can't be eight, so this has to be three. That, that won't work because there's no ten. Okay. So that's not going to work. How about well, how about I put the four here? No. Because regardless, it's always gonna be that way, so that can't work that way. Okay. Right, the two cannot go in the middle. 
Let's. No, one would. One could never work either. Well, it could, maybe. Put the one there. Put the sixth there. And the eighth there. That equals 15 as well. The other one that makes 15. Put the six. That'd be. No, it can't be seven, so it has to be the two. That makes three. No, that's too small. Okay. Let's try three then. Okay, so three. Put the seven there. And five there. Okay, no, not nine. Five. Okay. So what other numbers with three? that I have here. Three plus eight equals, okay, three plus, well, no. Yeah, it's three plus eight. Three plus eight is 11. So then I have to be four in order to get 15, but that doesn't work. Because the four and the three need to be in the same thing, okay. So three does not work that way either. Let's try four. Okay, so four. Four plus seven is eleven. Can't work that way. Four plus two is four plus two is six. Six plus nine equals fifteen. So two there and a nine there. Um okay. So that equals fifteen. Put the one, so I can't put the one there. Put the five there, that equals nine. Okay, that could work. No, but nine plus, god damn it! Doesn't work that way. So four does not work. Okay, let's put the five in. All right, so five plus Eight is thirteen. Then two. So eight and two. Alright. Then seven no seven not, well seven could be up there. No it can't be up there. Shit. And it can't be down there. It won't work out either, but let's let's just see if there's any other six. Okay, I might be getting something. I might be getting something here. 5 plus 6 is 11. 4. Okay. 4. 6. Alright, so far I'm doing the right. So then that's the 3. So that adds up. 15. Or for that to add up to 15, I need the 7. That adds up to 15. So, that has to be the 9. Go! Yes! Got it! There we go. All pins inserted. All lights lit. We did it. Power's on now. Looks like there's electricity going to the monitor on top now. All right, let's see if we can activate the device on the top. Oh, I feel so awesome for doing that. Green button, red button, and a lever. I wonder what these do. I think this might help. What What the hell is this? Where did he find this? What is this? Where'd you find it? Oh, when you were messing around with the pinholes. It looks like instructions for this thing. According to what it says here, the thing's a remote control for that. That? Yeah, that. Where's he pointing? Oh. A machine over there. Apparently, it's called the Pushmaster 5000. The Push Pushmaster 5000. There goes my pencil. Are you serious? Whatever. So, what are we supposed to do with the Pushmaster 5000? You see the coffin on top of the crates? Yeah. Don't you want to know what the deal is with that? I do. Want to check it out? Yeah. Alright, how do you think we're going to get there? 
well, well, there are some crates on the right side of the fence that someone piled up like stairs. Maybe we take a path to the coffin from there. How do we do that? Line up the crates, I guess. Yeah, that sounds about right. I guess this is just another of Zero's puzzles. Yeah. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Oh, looks like the Pushmax 5000 runs off a battery. So keep keep it from using its engine too fast. To be programmed, so only start moving once its path has been completely programmed again. All right. Keep that in mind. New material has been added to the file screen. Okay. Once I want to send my orders to Pushmax 5000, I just pull the lever. Give it a try. Sure thing. Just keep in mind that there's a limit on the battery, alright? Battery dies after 50 moves. At least that's what it says in the manual. 50 moves, huh? Also keep in mind that the Pushmax 5000 can't move the heavy metal crates, okay? Got it. The square adjacent to the Pushmaster 5000 is touched. The Pushmaster 5000 will move to that square. There's a crate in the way. The Pushmaster 5000 will, will push up to a single crate. Move the crates are proper appropriately and efficiently and fill the yellow areas. Alright, and you can't move so and you can't move these, so I need to somehow get all of them there. This is hard. Oh, wait a minute. If I push that down and push that up. No, if I push that left, push that up. find a way to move this is the only one that can go down I have to find a way to move it down <sighs> hint yeah, that's just good hints there um Well, I can't move it down because there's no way I can move it back up, can I? Move count exceeds the battery life, it will reset. You can move in four directions, you cannot move diagonally. Which sucks! It cannot lift the heavy objects, which is bullshit. Okay. I need to get to the bottom one, like, on the row there, the bottom one needs to be the first one. I need to do bottom... I need to go from the bottom up. That's how I'm going to do this. No, not even. Shit! Do I do go from top down? And yeah, top down is probably the only way to do it. So what I'd have to do is I'd have to push a crate from the top. And push them all. And then I have to push them to the top. Like, I'd have to. This is what I do. I have to, like, maybe, like, somehow get this crate here, but then I have to push it all the way up there. 
But then if I push this crate down and put it there, and then I can push it there and then move it up. And then I gotta like, say, move this one all the way over there, and then I can move this one down. No, shit, that won't work. Oh yeah, it would work. No. Fuck! I need to have a crate here. Because then I can push it down and go there. So that's the only way that's gonna work, is if there's a crate here, it can be pushed down. Let's try that, okay. So then I push you up. And then... Don't put that in anywhere yet. Okay, let's check. Okay. If I push that over... That's not gonna work. I think I need to do the opposite. I think I need to do the opposite. I need to do it the opposite. And then do that and then push that one down. And then... That's going to be my top one now. That one's the only one that could go into the bottom. So... Don't move this one up. Don't move this one down yet. Okay, 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 okay. I figured it out. I figured it out. Fucked it up, I wasn't supposed to move that one yet. Damn it. Okay. Should go on the top first. Should I push you to the bottom first? I could do that. Okay, this this is all I plan to do. This one goes on the bottom. That one's going to the bottom. That's the only one that can go in there. This one has to go here. So let's do that first. Okay. Now you can go up there. Woo! Did it! Okay, I'm done playing in the program. What do I do next? Just be quiet and watch. See? It's moving already. Woo! That one was a uh, pain as well. Awesome. Push 5000 just did what I told it to do and lined up the crates. Great, now we can reach the coffin. Just need to climb those crates over by the fence. Ah. That wasn't so bad. Mommy. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh. 
Just kidding. Uh, really? Whatever. Just open it. Okay, okay. A small key and... And a gun. A gun? Yeah, a revolver. It looks pretty old. I wonder if this is a replica. This thing is... Are these real bullets? Oh, if this is real... Oh. You're not gonna take it? Why? Of course not. All something like this is gonna do is cause more trouble. It's a powerful weapon that gives one person a huge advantage. Something like that would be way too dangerous to have around. We're in enough uh, danger already. Yep. That's so true. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Maybe Zero put this gun here, hoping that something like that might happen. In other words, maybe he put it here to make us fight each other. In that case, we should most certainly leave it here. I, for one, have no desire to let Zero control me. Right. Me neither. Okay, we've got that figured out. But you aren't gonna leave that key in there, are you? No. The key's what we need to escape. Of course not. We'll take that with us. The rusty key, huh? Rusty key. Maybe I can use this. Put the key here and yes, sounds like that did it. Yay! Looks like it's open, Jumpy. I see. This key should open this door. Hey, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Yes. It's open. You found it. A long hallway, huh? Whew. Oh, I don't know if I should end the part there or keep going. Let's go for a Let's little bit longer. Out. We've seen this elevator before. Oh, we're on the opposite side of it, though. We got off the one on the left just a little while ago. Then we went through the number six door, and that took us to the engine room. Yes, and after that, we pass through the cargo room. Mm-hmm. And now we're back here. In other words, we made a loop. We're back where we started. Hmm. But we're we not. We needed a card to get to this point. I don't see a card reader here. Nope, that's just an actual button. Perhaps we aren't able to activate it from this location. Why don't you just try pushing the button? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, that was weird. It wasn't out of it. So I had to do it myself. Oh well. It works. I think so. Good. Now we can go back if we need to. What do we do? Should we return to Sea Deck? No, this hallway keeps going. Even if we do end up going back, I think we should see what's down there first. I agree. Let's go. Looks like it ends here. Okay. Now I'm going to end the part here, guys. I think this is a good spot, so thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video. And let me know how you feel about these puzzles. I actually loved these puzzles, like the the 15 one, the one where you have to make sure everything added up to 15 diagonally, you know, in the square and, you know, across, down, like horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. I love that you had to do that. Like, that's fantastic. And then the pushing puzzle was 
a bit hard too. Like they were hard, but made you really think. Like, like okay, I came up with like okay, what three combination numbers add up? It's like okay, it can only like uh, seven, two, six, five, nine, one, three, four, eight are the only. Those numbers are have to be in a row together, be it horizontal or vertically. Those are the only rows that can be together like that. And then it's the whole okay. Then you have to match up. Uh, what are the other two numbers from the other two rows that add up to 15 that way? And then it's the whole diagonal thing. Like that was fun. That was fun. I was really enjoying that. And then the pushing one was a bit harder, but I, I got through it obviously. So let me know how you feel about those. So yeah. And those. And as always, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the beat. And subscribe to my main channel too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RBG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.